Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It's awesome that you're here on this Saturday. There was a magnitude 5.5 earthquake off of Rat Island about 12.50 a.m. local time. There is no tsunami warning. This earthquake had a depth of 110 kilometers or 68 miles. It was in a subduction event. No felt reports were sent in because it's an uninhabited island, uninhabited location. Just another sign that tension has built, more likely because of all the earthquakes that have been happening there off the coast of Russia. Let me show you that. Let me bring it out. Yeah, up over here. And you know we've been having a lot of large earthquakes, but uh, no such event would happen here. Stick with me, I'll get into the details of this earthquake and if it could cause a volcanic eruption for any of the nearby islands. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's really cold where I'm at. Uh, currently uh, below zero. We got a, a wind advisory, a cold advisory. Tomorrow they're warning of um, health effects of being below 30 degrees. So you got to be careful going out. Yeah, they're warning people to limit exposure could get frostbite within a short period of time. So stay warm, limit your exposure outside, and don't forget the pets. No chance that this could cause a uh, eruption for a volcano. The uh, only volcano that's currently going off is really too far, and that's a great Sitkin volcano, which is um, currently erupting. That volcano is about 300 to 300 and 50 miles from where this earthquake occurred. Historically, um, there has been large earthquakes in this location, though the possibility of a, another large event is really low. Back in 1906, you can see here we had a magnitude 8.3. Um, in 2014, there was a magnitude 7.9. And the largest one in this area was back in uh, 1965 and 8.0. I got to fix that right there. There we go. I fixed it. Yeah, that was the largest they've had in historical times in this location. Um, like I said, a magnitude 8.7. There was a tsunami of 10 meters from the 8.7 earthquake back in 1965 which was about 32 feet. Can you imagine that? But that was recorded on Shemiai Island. And on Amchika, yeah, there was flooding there too. Being such a remote location, um, there is some population. It's a military present on Ika and Shemia Island. I'm going to go there. That's off to the west. Yeah, I do have that noted. So that's the closest that be probably any population to where this earthquake occurred. Back in 1975, there was a 7.6 in that location, which did damage the uh, military base there and the runways. But this current earthquake was too deep and too small to cause any damage. There could be smaller aftershocks. But um, creating a large earthquake is probably highly unlikely in this area. But this area does have a chance of having a magnitude 7 or greater in this location. And it's just a matter of time before that does occur. So when they did have that 1965 8.7, they had a rupture of over 600 kilometers, which is about 372 miles. But we don't have to worry about that at least right now, with this magnitude 5.5. Sometime in the future, it'll probably happen again. Um, people need to be prepared for evacuations, for tsunamis, and things like that. But that would be for coastal areas that are prone to tsunamis. It doesn't matter where you live. You, you need to have a plan. So that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. I'll do my best to answer.
Thank you once again for watching my videos. It's awesome that you're here. Please like, please share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.